Hi, I'm Ted Barrett. Welcome to my channel, Communicating with Your Dog. I'm going over rule number 11 of 15 important rules that you should establish in your household and integrate into your life because you want an obedient dog. You'll have to get family members and regular guests involved in some of these rules, but you'll be able to teach them. You'll find links to all my videos, including all the rules down in the description section below. Make sure you check out the first video that I made, which has to do with the benefits of sharing the language with your dog. You know, many people think that having an obedient dog is beyond their reach, but I can tell you that it doesn't take long to train your dog to be obedient and terrific. Rule number 11, release each command. When you command your dog into a particular position like a down, sit or stay, make sure your dog stays in that position until you release your dog with another command. If you don't release your dog, your dog should theoretically stay in that position for life. Yes, you heard that right. If you've commanded your dog to be in a particular position, your dog should theoretically stay there for life until you release your dog. It doesn't matter if you told your dog to stay or not. Although it's great training and I'd suggest you follow any positioning command with a stay command. It doesn't matter in this case for this conversation. The dog whose owner doesn't follow this rule of releasing each command will have a dog that breaks stays whenever they want to and they're totally weakening the positioning commands. Up to this point, your dog knows when they break, they won't be corrected. In this case, you're allowing your dog to make the decision to break the implied stay, and you're allowing your dog to disobey you. If you fall into this category, watch your own actions closely and change your behavior. The typical scenario is if the doorbell rings, and you go to the front door and all of a sudden you're worried that your dog could run out or overwhelm a guest. Well, trying to be a good owner, you put your dog in a stay. But as soon as you open the door, all chaos breaks out and your dog breaks the stay. If this is the case, what you want to do is either don't ask your dog to do anything when you go to the door or have an assistant with a dog leash and take advantage of the training session. Just recognize that if you use a positioning command, you're committed to enforcing this implied stay. Release the command by just giving another command. It might be a come command, retrieve command, or an actual release command, to name a few. Of course, if you've used a positioning command followed by a stay, you'd want to make sure you release that as well. That's more obvious. Uh, dogs will be able to get used to this new rule really quick. Don't allow your dog to decide whether to break a position or not. Release each command. Please give me a thumbs up and watch my other videos. My book Communicating with Your Dog is available on Amazon. When it initially came out, it won a Dog Writers Association of America Award. This is the third edition. It outlines a simple 20 word language for you to share with your dog and gives you some really good ideas on where to go with your new language.